Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to show you how to repot this beautiful lady, which is a Helium Fora Heterodoxa. They are native to South America, carnivorous plants. This one, uh, I want to use just to grow it on. I just, I want a specimen plant, so I've got some more, uh, which I split from time to time. This one, no more splitting, I want it to grow to its full potential. Okay, so I'm going to upsize the pot from a 12 centimeter to an 18 centimeter. A little bit about Heliophorus. So they are old world carnivorous plants. They are from the Tepoys uh, in South America. So if you don't know what the Tepoys are, check the link in the description below uh, where I've put some links to documentaries for you to check them out. Pretty cool places, amazing. Uh, wish I could go there, and I probably will at some point. Um, so, they are carnivorous plants. They've they've also got uh, they've got nectar spoons, like a lot of the the what the pitchers, nepenthes, uh, uh, some of the others have got, um, and. The nectar spoon is basically this little point that you see right here, and, and there, and there, and there. Um, and they produce nectar on them, which lures the insects. Okay, so this one I want to place into a growing medium. The growing medium I'm going to use is 50-50 sphagnum and silica sand. I have tried other mediums before. Uh, containing uh, perlite and, and some of the other things and sand and, but I prefer this one because I've now taste, I've tasted it over the past six years and uh, this works the best for me um, so yeah that's that's a helium for a heterodox a very beautiful plant very interesting pollination i will i'll do an episode when she flowers i'll do an episode on that really bizarre and um, so cool uh so this plant uh i'm going to like i said 18 centimeter pots so i've got this pot right here i've cut out a piece of shade netting which is 40 percent uh i suppose it's not like super important but um, I'm basically just going to put it inside in the bottom of the pot, like that. Um, and then put the medium on top of that. So the medium, again, is 50% mold peat, sphagnum peat, not cocoa peat, sphagnum peat, and silica sand. And then I'm going to put the plant in it, and, uh, and then just backfill around the sides. I'm not going to repot the actual plant and take all of the old soil and stuff out. I want to keep this. Uh, it's probably been about a year since this plant has been repotted. Uh, and it was uh, which means tiny. Um, and I wanted to I wanted to grow. I can see the roots already coming out uh, along the surface. I can see some roots coming out the bottom of the pot here. So that's what I want to do. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So the plant is still in its 12 centimeter pot. What I have done over here is, remember I put some shade netting underneath in the bottom to actually just uh, close up the holes. So I, I took some of the medium, I fold in some of the medium and then when I place the pot inside its new potential home, what I'm looking at is this line of the pot. I want it to the, the medium to be even, even with with the inside of the pot. Okay, so that I don't plant uh, the the helium for it doesn't get placed too deep uh, or too shallow. Um, above the above the pot if you get what I'm saying okay so 
so that's that uh, and what I'm sorry what I'm going to also do is I am going to take some of the growing medium which I've got in this bucket right here uh, I'm just going to backfill it around all the way around and then I've got some live sphagnum moss which looks really really nice and lush um, and this I will place as a top dressing once we have uh, put the plant into its new home okay right so let's start back filling This is what I'm going to do like that so you will see that the uh, sphagnum in this case is slightly lower the, the or the growing medium around on the inside is slightly lower than that line that's okay because this is what I'm going to use to actually dress on top and bring it up to that level so that the sphagnum actually just completely decorates and makes the pot look really really good okay so now let us uh, water it so with me I've got my trusty little uh, my trusty little watering can which is really cool um, and it's got rainwater inside uh, which I'm just going to flood the entire container um, and and then wait until the water comes out the bottom and once the water comes out the bottom we'll know that we're good to uh, good to go yeah okay so I pretty much water all along the outside because what I'm trying to water is the, the new medium the dry medium doesn't really matter if you get the wet the, the actual plant wet as well it's not a big deal at all I'm sure the plant will love it okay and I give it some time to soak in so you can actually have a look there and see that uh, it's now settling and the water inside the actual pot of the plant is soaking away as well so what I want is I don't want to see any water on the ground I want it all to just drain through because I want I want to form a mold for, for this plant okay so that should be enough about now let's check is it dripping yes it is Okay, so now I'm going to lift it out very carefully. It's not completely wet yet, but that's okay. And then, just so I don't mess, I'm just going to lift the plant out, take it out of its soil, and stick it right into there like this okay so that is pretty much the helium for a repotted now for the nice part so I literally just put the sphagnum in I'm just gonna break little bits just put it all over like this and remember the sphagnum doesn't matter whether it's 
right side up or upside down as long as it's getting sunlight and water it will uh, or bright light and water it will actually just rectify the situation and it will, it will grow really nicely Lastly, what I would love to do is just get my trusty little scissors and I'm going to cut out all the dead pictures. Okay, so now I'm going to give it some more water. And just wet down this sphagnum as well. And the pictures themselves too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it stand in this water overnight and allow it to actually just soak up and really allow the medium to get saturated. And then the helium fora will be in its new home and on its way to a healthy growing situation. And the sphagnum is just going to look really good. It's going to keep up the humidity around the plant, um, which is really uh, necessary and yeah and that's how to he repot a helium pora um i hope you like this video if you did give us a thumbs up and uh stay tuned for more episodes it is really humid it's really hot here today so i am going to go and take it easy i think you should too have a good day and i'll see you in the next episode bye for now